Hey, this is AJ Hawk, and you're listening to Jim on Bass. Welcome back to another episode of the Jim on Bass Show here at Edgewood Tahoe with the great AJ Hawk. And how many years is this for you? You've done this a lot now, right? Yeah, I, every year we try to, my brother who's caddy for me every year, we try to figure out what, how long we've been here. I, and we have no idea. Like, I think this is 14, 13 or 14, which is crazy to think of. But yeah, at least, at least 13 years probably. And it's got to be fun too because I mean you look over you got Charles Barkley you got Marty Fish I mean a lot of people you probably look forward to seeing you know everybody yeah like our it's unbelievable the the connections and like just the friends you meet from this tournament especially coming year after year it's like a lot of guys you only see once a year but it's, you feel like you you've been hanging out all year because you get out here and it's like oh yeah of course yeah you you spend so much time with them when you're out here and and it kind of tends to, you run into people from Tahoe throughout the year at different things too because just there's so many awesome people that come out here. And it's, I mean, it really is the greatest week of the year, you know? It is. There's a reason I think you see all these guys. I know me, the first time I ever played out here, we were walking down the fairway and my brother and I said, I, I got to do whatever it takes to keep getting invited back to this thing. So yeah, that's what we've been doing for 13, 14 years. I think a lot of people are in the same boat. And you're looking good. Uh, we just checked out the sunglass shop here. So the salt, right? They look good on you. That's salt. a new pair. Thank you. Yeah. I, you know, if it's free, it's for me. Isn't that the old saying? And these are super expensive, nice shades. So yeah, I'll, I'll happily accept them. Yeah, I'm going to be rocking mine too later today. Yes. And uh, I was curious, uh, who was your first concert and what kind of music are you into? My first concert, I believe, either Tom Petty or it was probably Dave Matthews Band. Nice. I've been to like, you know, 30 plus Dave shows and I'm from Ohio. I'm 40 right now. Like my, I was right in the prime demo of Dave, and Dave's still touring and doing it as, as a live show is unbelievable. So from probably sixth grade on, I started going to Dave shows, and it slowed down as I've gotten older. But man, yeah, I had a good run. You probably know that I saw Dave a couple months ago, and he's doing Just Dance cover right now. It's amazing. Oh, it's crazy. He's it's awesome. Yeah, I mean the fact he's been doing it for 30 years now and still touring and selling out huge places. It's yeah, it's an awesome, an awesome live music experience. And you mentioned being from Ohio. There's a lot of football guys here from Ohio. So, do you all know each other? Or is that just maybe a good conversation starter? Uh, it's like those things that some, I, you know, most of them. But even if you don't, it's like, yeah, hey, we have this common thread. You know, you, you kind of know you'll head not, of course, from Ohio. I mean, the Kelsey brothers are Ohio guys. Um, Brable, I've known Brable forever. He's from Ohio. Played at Ohio State, the same place I went. So. Yeah, there's a there's definitely a common thread. There's a lot of Ohio connections in the NFL as far as players and coaches. Tons of coaches come from Ohio. Good place to end up at the end of your career too, right? Why not? Yeah, it's a great spot. And one last music question. I thought it was cool. I was looking on your Instagram, and your kids were all decked out for Halloween. They were Kiss, right? Yeah, so that was pretty years, good. A couple years ago, they were. Yeah, we were the whole we were we were Kiss, and it, and it worked out well. We've been trying to find a another family costume every year in Halloween that would, would live up to. We haven't really haven't quite lived up to that, but yeah, we're always thinking if you have any ideas. And uh, you did mention you turned 40, so are you cool with that? Did you embrace it? Uh, what'd you do for the big 40? Yeah, man, I embraced it. It's weird. It's definitely weird to still feel like I'm 18, 19 years old, especially thinking like this place too. I came out here when I was, you know, 25, 26 is when I first started coming. Now I'm 40 out here. It's our what our how we use our time has changed a lot my brother and i and my family when they come like from what we used to do when we we're out here and how late we'd stay out till now um but we still enjoy every second of it um but yeah i embrace it my wife actually had a surprise party for me and had a bunch of uh bunch of my friends and family came in town and actually uh hung out and stayed at the house and it was yeah awesome event yeah of course i you have to embrace it you know what's the alternative you know i'm, I'm happy i hope i think no matter what age you turn you always look like, oh man, that's so, I remember when I turned 20, I thought that was crazy that I was 20 years old. And then obviously every 10 years you feel that way. So, you know, I'm sure when I'm 50, I'm gonna say, man, I was so young back when I was 40. So I try to keep it in perspective. Yeah. Well, final question here. You had such a great career. So do you have any favorite uh, mementos from your career? Or when you think back, do you have like a welcome to the NFL moment that makes you laugh? Um, I don't know if I have one specific moment um, or a mementos, like, it's weird. The funny thing is just being like so out here with Aaron. I'll play with Aaron on Friday, our first round, and I see him a decent amount, but you know, not not a ton because I'm not I'm not playing football with him anymore. Uh, and every time we're together, he has such a crazy memory. He just starts bringing talking about different things that happened because we sat next to each other in our team meeting for nine straight years. So every day I'm sitting with him, and he 
his recall is unbelievable. So he always is recalling all the crazy things that happened with the coaches and different players and everything. So it's hard to, I can't ever nail down just one, but every time I get to hang out with him, I, I'm reminded of so many unbelievable experiences that I had. And yeah, I'm super lucky to spend a good, most of my career in Green Bay too, because that place is awesome. Well, it's great stuff there, and uh, I'm looking at you. I know you just turned 40. You look great, though. So what's the bench press, or did you switch up the workouts? Are you doing anything different now to keep the joints intact? I don't know how much you bench. You know, the old common question. I don't know how much I bench on a one rep max right now. I had a torn pec for a while that, back in the day, so I got a, a more close grip when I'm doing it. Uh, no, like, I still love working out, and I want to. I do it to mentally and physically to feel great. But no, I don't. No, I feel terrible. I mean, I feel I can't start. I can run. I can't start and stop, and everything. But I, I understand it. And it's, it's good. It's good to, I think, to live with some pain every day. It just makes you appreciate everything even more. So, I wouldn't. I don't regret anything I ever did playing football. And yeah, I'm. I'm. In, I'm very lucky in, in, with how it, how physically I came out of the game after playing for 11 years. So I'm. I'm grateful and very lucky. Now you can jump in the lake and get an ice bath, right? Every mo I get in here every morning, man. Right. About 6 a.m. when my brother and I get in there and swim around, it's like it's the, the best natural, like, cold plunge situation you could ever have. Well, AJ, this is a lot of fun getting to meet you and talk to you. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it.